Hi everybody, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today because I have some fun updates on our little fixer upper house that is 450 square foot and is a 1915 home. So we've been working on this project now for several, several months. We hired out the um, siding to be done and putting new windows in. That was a while ago actually. Um, in like March and then just about a month ago we had the electrical and plumbing put in and installed and got the inspection done um, it was okayed it went through well we did not do all that ourselves because in our state in South Dakota if we are not living in this house ourselves we cannot do all of that work ourselves so we just thought we would hire that out and get that done and we had to weigh out the options sometimes you got to do that is it worth taking the time to do all those things yourself that we've actually never done before and taking time from work um, since my husband sells on Amazon that he would take that time off to do that or is it better just to pay that out so we had to weigh those options and we decided to hire those projects out which is so good because it took the professionals several days to do both those projects too and it would have taken us like weeks because we'd be learning as we go so um, yeah those projects are in and done we'll still have to get like the outlets put on the light switches the lights all that stuff um, toilet and sink aren't hooked up yet if you watched my look for less video i did a vanity sink that i made over so that's part of what's going in this project this house here and then the color behind me now we recently painted just a few days ago on the hottest day we've had this year my husband and a friend helped paint and they did a kendall charcoal color from Benjamin Moore line the historical line it's so beautiful I love it with a white trim I'll put the type of paint in the description box because I am in love with it I wanted a cottage style color and I just had searched Pinterest and um, got the idea from Pine and Prospect Home actually to use a gray color on our little house if I want it cottage style so that is what I picked and I really am loving it with the white trim on the edge around the windows around the door it just looks so beautiful and then um, this is where I need some of your guys's help if you have some ideas I want to do window boxes and shutters so I want to do like the it's called beadboard shutters and they're more wooden looking instead of like the plastic flimsy ones that I don't really enjoy um, and then a window box now I think I just want to buy the window boxes um, eventually we're not gonna put those on this year but I think the shutters we can still put on so colors that's what I want to know for the shutters um, we'll probably buy the shutters if not maybe we'll DIY them but would you do like black shutters with this gray? Probably not. Um, white shutters or I was thinking like a lighter blue potentially. I don't know. Let me know what you think would go well with this charcoal gray and what would match and be the cottage style. And then also for lighting on the exterior. At first I was thinking more of a farmhouse pendant style but then I thought a lantern of course would be more of that cottage style so I think that's what I'm gonna go with is like a lantern on the exterior and then our ceiling is so low in the bathroom because it angles down it's like five foot not five foot it's like six foot at the lowest point um, and so we're just gonna do some side lights so like lantern style farmhouse style I know cottage theme is what I want for the house so those farmhouse pendant lights probably wouldn't go so just put some stuff in the description box if you have some ideas or if you know of a place where I can get some that have some really cute and affordable place um, where I can find these type of lights please let me know I love ideas love hearing from you guys um, yeah and then soon hopefully the spray foam will come in and then we sheetrock and painting and stuff again so 
I plan to beadboard the ceiling and then I'm not sure if we'll shiplap one wall where the bed is gonna go. I'm thinking that's what we'll do. Um, I know shiplap is kind of a fad right now. I do like the shiplap, but is that something that will be a lasting style or not? I'm, I'm really not sure. So you can help me out there too if you think, or if we should beadboard that wall as well. I plan to do some wainscoting or beadboard in the bathroom too, because that's very, very cottage style. And, but yeah, these are the updates. It is coming along. I'm so excited for what it's gonna be. It's gonna be our little rental, um, an Airbnb type place. And so I'm just really looking forward to how it will come together. So I hope you enjoyed this little update. Um, definitely help me out in the comments below. So glad you're watching this video. And definitely check out the playlist if you haven't seen the, our Fixer Upper playlist of all that we had done previously to this. And subscribe if you're new so you can catch up and follow along on all the upcoming videos on this place and projects we'll be doing and other videos like DIYs, homemaking, and motherhood. Alright, I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.